2 million secret documents, emails, images. The largest data leak from Roskomnadzor, thanks to hackers, was at the disposal of independent journalists and was made public. And it turned out that the Russian authorities are watching not only the Russians, but also the Ukrainians. You will be surprised who is on this list and also how the Russian special services will be able to read your correspondence and posts, even in close groups and communities. I'm Alexey Matsuka and right now I'll tell you about everything in detail. The leak of the largest database of the main Russian sensor Roskomnadzor and its compliance, the main radio frequency center, became a real information bomb. The fact that in Russia there is total surveillance on the internet is no secret to anyone. But in this leak, among the reports and correspondence, there are also details who is being followed and how. Journalists gained access to two classified lists. One is the foreign agents list. There are 804 names. These are Russians who have already been declared or will be declared foreign agents. Their lists are updated every Friday. Certificates are drawn up for these people and then they are sent to the Minister of Justice of Russia, which makes the final decision. The second is a list of opinion leaders, those who can influence the position of the Russians, including about the war. Their social networks are closely monitored and every post, every comment and even every like is analyzed. There are 472 people on the list. And among them are about three dozen famous Ukrainian singers, artists, journalists, bloggers. Names are very different from Sofia Ratara to Verka Serdyuchka, more preciously Andrei Danilka, from Vakarchuk to Alex Kripka and Jamala. There is Polyakova, Dorn, Manatik, Panamaryov, Usik, TV presenter Evgeny Kiselov and Dr. Kamarovsky. It's difficult to understand on what basis they were chosen. In Ukraine, almost all public figures have expressed their position on a long time ago and more than once, so it's not clear why they decided to follow only a small number. On the other hand, the list includes artists who have generally been silent on this time, trying to remain apolitical. The same Sofia Rataro, who in principle didn't make public statements about the war, limited herself to only rare posts on social networks about the horrors of the war and her assistance to the armed forces of Ukraine. Why were they chosen? What were the selection criteria? There is no explanation for this in the documents. It's only clear that everything is done manually and lists of those who are being watched and checking what they write about. Thanks to the leak, it turned out that the Roskomnadzor employees are doing everything manually. The software they use only allows them to filter materials by keywords and then they have to double check this information themselves. Manual search efficiency is very low and management doesn't like it. You can't keep up with internet publications at this rate. But in response to the comment of the authorities to be creative, the subordinates fight back, complain that they work so hard that they don't have enough employees. Please be creative, crazy ideas are welcome. We love to be creative, but now it's not just no free hands, there's no free finger. As a result, Roskomnadzor decided to automate the entire process and here the most interesting begins. Thanks to the leak, it became clear how everything would be organized. That they will try to hide unwanted information, like write to yourself, no one will see anyway. And the post of any of us, even on a closed page, even with the status only for friends, is planned to be read in Moscow. And now I'll tell you how it all works. To start with, let's talk about attempts to block information. During the year of the war against Ukraine, the Russian authorities deleted more than 150,000 posts on social networks, blocked Instagram and Facebook. They tried to restrict access 
access to tens of thousands of publications on Telegram and YouTube, whose audience is about 100 million users. But this is not enough. They introduced a mechanism by which search engines do not show some of the results. A simple example. If you search on Yandex and Google, the phrase why Russia started the war in the search box, the two search engines give completely different results. Google reveals a Wikipedia article that says Putin's goal is to conquer and occupy the vast territory of Ukraine and restore the glory of Russia as an empire. So the, the, there will be links to the materials of Radio Liberty, BBC, Deutsche Welle and another. But Yandex immediately writes a warning. Some materials on the internet may contain inaccurate information, please be careful. And this happens after each request related to the war against Ukraine. In addition, Russian users will not see articles from blocked media in Yandex search results at all, such as Radio Liberty or Voice of America, but only those who give the correct view, of course, from the point of view of the Russian authorities. How did it happen? We find the answer to this question in the reports of employees of Roskomnadzor made public thanks to the leak. It says that the search engines Yandex and Mail.ru are fully subject to the requirements of the main Russian censor, whereas Google is not, although they approached it. The search services Yandex, Mail.ru fully comply with the requirements regarding access to information from resources which are limited or banned in the Russian Federation. Currently, the filtering of Google search results is at the level of 70 to 80 percent. Only YouTube was too tough. Russian internet censors complain in official correspondence. At the moment, YouTube video hosting almost completely ignores numerous demands to remove illegal content, regardless of who posted it, while restricting access not only to the official accounts of Russian state media abroad, but also to the accounts of the official authorities of the Russian Federation. In parallel, and of course for budgetary money, they are creating a bot farm. Roskomnadzor directly calls is that its internal documents and the official name automated system clean internet sounds like a mockery and all this should work in three months if you think if won't affect you that what you write and publish in closed groups and communities the Russian special services will not read then you are mistaken in Moscow, they decided to create a lot of fake social media accounts through which Roskomnadzor will gain access to closed communities on social networks. A program capable of imitating human actions on a social network will create thousands of fake accounts, fill them with photos, videos and promptly publish posts and comments. And then to be added to closed groups or to your friends, in general, bots will have to behave online like real users. In the photo, a pretty face, the account looks decent. A lot of posts, a lot of friends, but not at a person. And it's a plan that the bots will successfully pass their test when joining close groups and communities. And this is the main thing for which they are needed. And now, through all these thousands of fake pages in Moscow, they want to identify the so-called points of information tensions on the Internet. Now I will tell you what it's and why the Russian authorities are so afraid of it. Thanks to the leak, it became known about the creation in Russia of an integrated computer system Vepri, which should monitor the activity of users of social networks and the media and don't just watch. And in the early stages, to discover the source of information, to access the size of the audience, and most importantly, to be able to predict how the discussion of this topic on the internet will develop further and whether it will become a threat to the authorities. And 
if artificial intelligence decides yes, the material will be transferred to the security forces. Simply put, you post a message and wrote about what worries you. Vepri, thanks to some algorithms, decided that the text could become viral and that it would be posted and commented on. This has not yet happened and the author, if he lives or she in Russia, in the annexed Crimea or in occupied Ukrainian territories already has special services knocking on the door and on the posts of residents of any other countries numerous Facebook friends and in fact bots that have become friends with you will immediately begin to complain trying to block the post. What information is Roskomnadzor trying to keep under control? In the documents leaked by the hackers there was a list of these very points of information tension and simply said forbidden topics. There are about a hundred of them. This is the situation of war and the help to the armed forces of Ukraine, instructions of how to use the VPN, topics related to LGBTQ community and insults of Putin. One thing is good, with the timing of the launch of Vepr, not everything is going smoothly because of the war against Ukraine and the lack of specialists and the sanctions. Here is what they say about internal correspondence. Taking into account the sanctions pressure in the current economic situation, the project becomes difficult to predict deadlines. Market experts who can perform these works are currently involved in fulfilling especially important requests from government agencies of the Russian Federation in the context of the ongoing special operation of the Russian armed forces. But it turned out that Vepery was also only part of a huge censorship ma machine that Roskomnadzor planned to introduce. Employees of the Radio Frequency Center are training artificial intelligence to look the, for posts with insults against Putin and recognize images of the Russian president in MEMS. Now this also monitored manually, but it will be the Oculus system. Internal documents of Russian digital censorship also found examples of offensive drawing depicting Putin with the example of which they train the machine to look for similar pictures and the dictionary as soon as any word from it is found on the internet next to the name Putin the system should respond Putin and the next to the words war criminal massacre or butcher the alarm is immediately sound Putin ordered and next to it are the words Ukraine, Mariupol, Kharkov, Kherson or Kyiv, also immediately blocked. Putin, president, president of Russia, plus murderer, terrorist, extremist, criminal, international terrorist, terrorist number one, war criminal, genocide, massacre, butcher. Putin ordered, gave order, plus arrange a terrorist attack, blow up, kill, poison, torture, bomb, shoot, Ukraine, Mariupol, Kharkiv, Kherson, Kyiv. And another taboo topic, it's uh, mentioned separately in the documents, Putin's critical state of health. Such publications are under special control, data are collected and analyzed daily. According to Roskomnadzor itself, it's uh, posted on the subject of the health of the Russian president that ranks second in terms of the number of materials removed and blocked in Russia. More banned is only information about the events in the war. And then they come mobilization and crisis in the Russian economy. All this also cleaned up. But the fact that it was Putin's condition that turned out to be on the list of things that cannot be written about in Russia suggests that apparently not everything is good with health. Since any posts about this are sought out and cleaned up so diligently. What I have learned from analyzing this vast rave of intercepted documents is that the Kremlin's digital eye is working tirelessly. Inside Roskomnadzor there is a separate enterprise that employs more than a thousand people and every day they are only busy scouring the internet for resonant posts, criticism, dissatisfaction and publication that are offensive to Putin and then all the reports are sent upstairs 
to the Kremlin and the security forces. And in the future, an artificial intelligence system and the bot farm will try to launch their tentacles, adding everyone as a friend. But on the other hand, the war was aggravated everything so much that no one hides their feelings, their thoughts, their attitude. And if the Kremlin finds out about this, thanks to all sorts of vapors or oculuses, there it will definitely dip them into reality, making it clear what people really think. I'm Alexey Matsuka, thanks for watching. Don't miss your releases there three times a week on this TV channel and see you soon.